So like, so break it down to us. Like, how was raising up in Low Haiti back in them days, though, dog? Before the music. Well, so many views. When you when when we talk about Lil Haiti, when I was growing up in my hood, it was more like we was Haitians and ain't too many other people really f us. Mm. So it was real segregated. Miami still that way in some in some in some sorts of some fashions. It's still that same kind of way. But it was segregated, like Haitians, Haitians you know, the, the Americans the Americans, Hispanics did their thing, Jamaicans did their thing. Very, very seldom you'll find well mixed around. You know what I'm saying? But we was all, my side, we was all Haitian. That's how we was rock. We free, I did have some American friends who we with and rock hard with, mm -hmm. but we was mostly the core was Haitian. And let us know how it was like. So did y'all Haitians get along? Like what it was? I mean, yeah. I mean, some did and some don't. But you got to understand where we, where, where, I, where I come from, my little Haiti, Sable Pond, little Haiti, that was warrior mentality. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you was, if you came in my hood, and let's say, for instance, you didn't know coming down the block you had to flash your headlights. That shit getting wet up. No. That shit getting wet up. That shit getting wet up. No excuse, no nothing, no questions asked, no nothing. Mm. So you had to know if you coming down the block, you had to flash them headlights. And there was times where niggas would jump out in the middle of the street and just stop your car and find out who you is. No, where no you thing. going? Mm -hmm. Who you know in this neighborhood? And them answers better be correct because we knew everybody in the neighborhood. Sometimes niggas stop you and search you. Mm. Jump in front of your car and just search you. And whatever's on you is ours. That's so, how Lil Haiti was where I come from. So that's how the vibe was at that Yeah. Point. 